Welcome back. When families became separated after Hurricane Katrina and missions of mercy were needed following 9-11, help was soon on the way. Thanks to the efforts of a nationwide network of volunteer pilots, like the woman you're about to meet. It's a peaceful morning in South Florida, but not for long. Today, Sandy Riley and her co-pilot, Richard Prather, will fly hundreds of miles on a mission of mercy to help people they've never seen before. I feel like we have a duty to help out other people that can't do it themselves. For seven years, Sandy's been donating her time, her plane, and fuel to a nonprofit relief organization called Angel Flight. We fly people for transplants. We're part of the Homeland Security operation, so we also fly into areas where disasters happen, such as 9-11 uh, up in New York. After the Hurricane Katrina that hit the Gulf Coast region, we did a lot of relief flights in and out of there. Sandy got involved with Angel Flight because she knows firsthand how important these flights can be. Eight years ago, Sandy was a housewife, happily married Jet Riley, a private pilot who loved his regular missions for Angel Flight. At the time, I was not a pilot. He flew the missions, and then I would go along to help. Then, Jet was stricken with a rare neurological disorder. Sandy got her pilot's license, and the two of them crisscrossed the country seeking treatment that would save Jet's life. We kept trying, you know, we kept visiting different doctors and doing what we could. Sadly, their efforts were not enough. Jet died in 2000. But to keep his memory alive, Sandy made a solemn vow. I knew that I would continue to fly and try to carry on his legacy of flying for Angel Flight. Now Sandy flies 30 missions a year. Today she's helping the family of a two-year-old girl with a rare form of eye cancer. Hi, Dr. Mari. Good to see you. Hi, sweetie. Ukrainia Castillo needs life-saving treatment at this eye institute in Miami, four hours from her home in Kissimmee, Florida. Children go on to require their eyes to be removed, or unfortunately, even in the United States, to die from this cancer when it really isn't necessary. To make matters worse, doctors are concerned Ukraine's little brother, Angel, who's just two weeks old, might have the same potentially fatal cancer. I don't think we can overemphasize how important it is getting the children here. That's where Sandy and Angel Flight stepped in. Ukraine and Angel need to come here for treatment once a month for the next year. The cost of each trip is well beyond their parents' financial reach. The treatment is not readily available where they live, and they can't afford to hop on an airline and go back and forth for treatment. It'll be a little bit warm at first, but once we get a little bit higher, it'll cool off, so. OK. I can't imagine what this mother is going through. On this day, conditions are clear, and Sandy has the plane airborne in no time. At least we can be here to help her out with the transportation, so that's not a worry. Runway uh, one three, you clear touching up. An hour later, Sandy brings them in for a safe landing in Kissimmee. We had a great flight. The, the baby slept the whole way, both babies, and Mama was about falling asleep too. So it was, it was perfect. Yeah. A few minutes after that, the children are reunited with their father. It was, it was a beautiful reunion. It was very special just to be able to be a part of that and to be able to bring the family back together. At day's end, this trip is topped off with good news from the doctors in Miami. Ukraine and Angel's tests show their cancer free for now. My biggest concern first was uh, my daughter because she got that uh, tumor in her eye. I was worried that at some point it might resurface again, but uh, so far it hasn't. And uh, good news for the little one, there's no sign of tumor anywhere. Each flight for Sandy is filled with meaning. Every time we fly someone, I, I feel like I would take the same care with the, these people as I would with my own family. 
It's the first time I met these pilots today, and they're beautiful people. It really has brought back my belief that there's still good people out there. As for Sandy, it's just another day she can feel she has carried on the work of her beloved husband and fulfilled her need to help others. It's an honor every time we do a mission. I feel honored that these people put their trust in me to get them to where they're going, and it's, it's a real honor and a blessing to me. Angel Flight has flown more than 22,000 missions since it was formed 25 years ago. For selflessly helping those in need, we're pleased to call Sandy Riley a DirecTV hometown hero.